What's up ladies and gentlemen, this is Kenny G coming at you solo today. Uh, Lydia's out and about, but I read this article over here on Kotaku and it's triggered me a little bit, so I've decided to do a quick little podcast about it. Basically, um, what annoys me is a lot of Kotaku's doubled standards. Here is an article where they're complaining about the objectification of women uh, in 2018 video games, specifically Soul Calibur. Uh, I'm not going to read you the whole article. It's lengthy as Kotaku articles always are. Lots of complaining. That's um, If anyone knows anything about Kotaku, you know that Kotaku loves to, one, clickbait, two, loves to complain endlessly about everything and search out reasons to complain about video games. So in this case, she's complaining about the objectification of women in Soul Calibur. And I would, to a degree, have to agree that women are objectified in Soul Calibur, uh, the video game. But uh, I would argue that also men are objectified. There's lots of bare-chested men. Uh, th this is just a fantasy video game. It's a game about uh, magical swords that seal, steal souls. And, it, like, you really... <laughs> To look at the women characters and be like, I'm offended because they're, they've are they got big breasts and they're skinny and, and I mean, they've even got like a body chart here where they're complaining about how the Japanese developers uh, seeked out these body types for the game and they're not realistic body types. Uh, so I would disagree with all of that. I mean, uh, women are objectified in games. There's no doubt about that. But... So are men. So are men. And uh, the idea that these are not realistic body types are simply incorrect. There are women... I mean, you know, this, this is... Okay, what I'm getting at is the whole double standard. I, I don't want to get into a huge argument about Kotaku's article here, but just the double standard. They're complaining about these women do not have realistic body types, right? And that they're being... They're given these unrealistic body types and they're being objectified. While on the same website, if you just scroll down, you'll find this. Otaku sharing best cosplays of Colossal Con, and they're using this as clickbait as well to get people to click on their site uh, and, you know, give them ad revenue, obviously. But I mean, look look here. Look, look at uh, all of these people who are objectified. And they're saying, in this article here, let's just drag this over. Uh, in this article here, she's complaining how they're unrealistic body types. She also complains about boob physics, which I can agree with that. The boob physics in the older games were so silly. I don't know why they did that other than it was semi, semi uh, funny in a cringy way, right? It was not like, oh my God, the boobs are bouncing in this video game. It was more like, this is really cringy. Uh, anyways, where was I going with this? Basically, Kotaku's got a crazy double standard where they're complaining about, they're complaining about how these body types, this lady specifically, uh, Cecilia, is complaining about how the body types in these games are sexualized and they're not realistic and yada yada yada, while on their same website, Kotaku is also taking advantage of these women here who have publicly publicly posted their images from colossal con uh, a lot of them are objectified look at look at you don't think kotaku went and cherry picked these images specifically because they are toned like look at this dude let's not this is not even a a lady this is uh oh this is unrealistic body types this is this has got to be photoshopped or something like like they're they have not chosen a single person here that is unattractive right kotaku's whole angle is they're 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 always offended because uh games target you know pretty or sorry not games target but games feature pretty people uh nice body types uh it, it, all that type stuff yeah basically the ideal image of a human being right whether you're a man or a woman you the ideal image of uh of the opposite gender would be someone who is you know, strong or sexy or athletic. Like, those are the ideal body types. Of course, there are people who find other body types attractive, and there's nothing wrong with that. But uh, Kotaku specifically 
is always offended on behalf of the world for uh, body types. And uh, I would argue that they... Oh, man, that's a good Fresh Prince of Bel-Air, actually. Uh, they're complaining about how there's unrealistic body types in the game, while if you just scroll down, you'll see that they're very realistic. Look at all these people. Look at all, look at... Woo! Look at those boobies. Excuse me, that's a... Uh, I shouldn't have said that. Um, and I just saw this lady last weekend at a convention in Canada. Um, they're all very real people. Um, I don't know. I, I feel like Kotaku, and I think a lot of people will agree, that Kotaku has a huge double standard for, uh, well, complaining about body types and, and body shaming too, right? I mean, okay, here's a comment even here. Oh, oops, I clicked on it. I kind of feel like this is going the way of body shaming. There are women out here in the r real life that do have these body types. I get that, sure, there are scantily clad, large-breasted women fighting, but is it because of what they are wearing or the size of their breasts? Because I don't see anything wrong with this. Same as dead or alive. Now, if they are really inappropriate things like breast grabbing or things our president <laughs> would delight in doing, I would have issues. Uh... And that, that actually is very accurate. He's probably more accurate than everything I just yammered on about. And the author of the article just responds, there are women out here in real life. Oh, no, that's, she's quoting this. And then she says, oh, sweet summer child. So she's being condescending. Like, you don't know what you're talking about. Let's, let's look at this. Actually, uh, where are the replies? Show me the replies. Pretty sure that there are at least 20 cosplayers for about any anime video game woman that proved that that comment is false the sarcastic one and then she's post or this person uh whoever has posted images of scantily clad women and i agree i mean look at look at what they've shared here on their own page where they're complaining about booby physics and all that type stuff but their feature and and, and how they're objectified right that's really what i'm getting at it's not the booby physics it's the objectification of people, uh, or women specifically. I mean, look at this. This is, this is Kotaku featuring this on their website, and then at the same time complaining about the objectification of women. You know, like, they're happy to do it when it is to their benefit. Let's, I don't want to get a copyright claim here, but let's, like, like, come on. Bikinis, bikinis, bikinis. There's nothing wrong with it. They're, um, they're pretty women. But uh, for Kotaku to be so hypocritical as to criticize... Here's the other thing. They're not complaining about men and how men are objectified too. I mean, there's a whole other rant we could do about how men are objectified. Look at Solid Snake. Look at all the heroes like him. Like... Uh, they're all jacked up. I'm not jacked up. Most of the people I know in my life are not jacked like Solid Snake or Big Boss or whoever or Goku or other characters like that. They're or like uh, ooh, Duke Nukem, whatever. Other people who are jacked, right? Those are those are just characters in a video game, and and uh, I never for a second think, oh, you know, they're objectifying men. Uh, but this woman specifically, this lady, uh, she feels that women are being objectified while never complaining about men being objectified, which is a double standard in itself. And then to take that double standard and make a double standard sandwich, they also on their website feature women who are all scantily clad. Uh, some of these costumes are really good, but they're all like women with the body types that they're angry about right here anyways i've this i feel like this has been a completely random just me barfing out words so uh sorry about that uh i think i'll end it here i think you get my point i'm kind of annoyed actually i'm really annoyed but uh we'll just leave it at that for now uh thanks for listening um if you disagree if you agree if you have an opinion Please leave it in the comments below. I'm happy to discuss it. I'm happy to uh, change my point of view if I'm incorrect. Uh, I'm always open to discussion, and I would in I would embrace the discussion. Tell me, tell me if tell me I'm wrong. I would gladly hear why I'm wrong and change my perspective. Okay, thanks for listening.